Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Paulie's Kitchen. My name's Paulie and this is my kitchen. In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most delicious apple chutney. It's got thyme, apple and cranberries in it. It's absolutely incredible for Christmas and the cheese board, you've got to have a cheese board at Christmas and really good for other times of year. It goes amazing with pork. So guys, all the ingredients that you will need for this recipe are here. As you can see, you've got some Braeburn apples. You don't have to use Braeburn. You can use any other apple that you want. Some people like Bramley. I like it a little bit sweeter. And what I've also got here is some dried thyme. I've bought it fresh, left the packet open in the fridge, and it's dried out nicely. Doesn't rot, handy hint. So guys, one of the main ingredients is also going to be apple cider vinegar, which is here. Not an ad, I just like the product. Oh, that was so close. So I'm going to put that back down. So yeah, guys, we're going to crack straight on. To do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But yeah, guys, let's dive straight in. So the first thing that we need to do is we're going to take a glass bowl like that. I'm going to spin it on my finger a little bit and place that there. We're also going to take our apples. We're going to take an apple, and what we're going to do is we are going to peel these straight into this glass bowl here. Now it's handy to peel them whole before you chop them up. It just makes your life so much easier. And I'm all about an easy life. So that's one. Four. All we're going to do now is place our peeler back down there and get rid of the skin. And then all we're going to do is we're going to chop them in half, in quarters, core them, and then just chop them roughly like that we're going to take another plate pop that there let's get rid of that little bit and pop them on there like that and what i'm going to do is going to do this with all the apples so now that all the apples are done all we're going to do is we're going to take all our cores and our cuttings pop that into our bowl and just pop this underneath because we don't want our apples to turn brown so we're going to take our apple cider vinegar like that and what we're going to do is we are going to take a measuring jug and we're going to measure out 200 mils. Just like that and we're going to pop this back down here. So we're going to take our saucepan and all we're going to do is we're going to put our apple into our saucepan and then pour our apple cider vinegar all over our apples. So now that our apple cider vinegar is in with our apples, all we're going to do is just give that a mix up a little bit and the acid will stop the apples going brown. And we're going to pop that on our stove over there. So the next thing we want to do is we want to take our onion. What we're going to use, we're just going to use half of it. So let's pop that down there. And we're just going to finely dice this, chop into this and we want it nice and small. And then we're just gonna cut into, dice it up. And I'm gonna try not to cry. Back in one minute. So now that our onions are chopped up really small like this, we're gonna gently saute these off. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna take our lighter. And we're just gonna light our stove, just like that. We're gonna take our saucepan, we're gonna take our oil, Really lovely. And all we're going to do is pop a little bit in there. Not too much, just enough. Throw that down the arm, lovely. And now all we're going to do is we're going to take our onions, pop them in there. So once your onions look like this, all we're going to do is we're going to take them and pop that into our saucepan with our apple. Lovely, look at that colour. All right, so let's pop that there. Let's turn that heat off, and let's just stir those in. Do now. Now we've put the onions in. We're going to put 200 grams of light brown demerara sugar, and we're going to put 50 grams of dried cranberries in there as well. As we're going to add a nice pinch of salt in there as well. So yeah, guys. Now everything is in our saucepan. All we need to do now is let that simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. Let all the apples go that lovely translucent-y colour and they'll go slightly brown as well. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a teaspoon of dried thyme into that, stir that through, and our chutney's done. Don't know what that, what is that? So when your apple chutney looks like this, now's the time to throw in your thyme. Just give that a stir. So yeah guys, our apple chutney has been on the stove for about an hour, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take it off of the stove, plonk it on there, because it's gonna be red hot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into a glass dish, just like that, pour that in. And as you can see, it looks absolutely incredible. So yeah guys, that's how you make an apple cranberry and thyme chutney. I mean, it's absolutely so easy to do. It takes a little bit of time admittedly, but it's absolutely delicious. So guys, do remember to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you do find out when I release my next video, which will be really soon. But in the meantime, guys, hope you're inspired. Happy cooking, bye-bye. So it would help if I turned the stove on. Lovely.